All right, so uh, we're going to just look at example um, 5A. Um, I'll let you do B on, um, on your own. Um, but we're going to um, actually, let's do both, uh, both of them. They're, they're, they're both going to be worthwhile um, since they're kind of different sort of examples. One has imaginary numbers, one uh, does not. And so for the first one, we have um, a polynomial with degree 3. So it's a third degree um, polynomial, meaning the leading term has a 3 in the exponent. And it has 1, 2, and negative 3 as zeros. So the interesting uh, thing about this, uh, and, and you should have seen this in the section, that um, if we know the zeros, we can find the factors um, or the polynomial in its factored form. So if, if 1 is a 0, then that tells us that this will factor to, um, uh, what, what one of the factors is x minus 1. And if we have, uh, so I'm working out part A here, and if uh, 2 is a 0, then that tells us that x minus 2 is a, uh, it, it is a factor of the polynomial. And then similarly, if negative 3 is a 0, then um, x, and now remember, it's always the opposite. So it's, since we have negative 3, it's going to be plus 3 is going to be a factor of, of our polynomial. So factor means there, we're going to have a bunch of products here. So we're going to have x minus 1, x minus 2, and x plus 3 all multiplied together. So let's just say the function p of x. And so we're going to have x minus 1 x minus 2, and x plus 3. Now, uh, we would want to multiply this out. And so you'd want to, uh, you'd want to multiply just two pairs, or uh, um, multiply a pair um, each time. And don't try to multiply all three at once. That'd be crazy. Um, that'd be pretty much impossible. Um, so x minus 1 times x minus 2 is x squared. Uh, minus 2x minus x plus 2 times x plus 3. That's equal to x squared minus 3x, combining like terms, plus 2 times x plus 3. All right, now we can multiply uh, th these two um, factors, and we would get x cubed when you have x squared times x and then negative 3x times 3 is negative 9x negative 3 uh, or um, 2 times uh, actually no we, we I, I skipped I skipped I don't know why I did that um, let's backtrack so x squared let's use arrows to keep track of each of these x squared times x x squared times 3 is plus 3x squared. And then let's just use colors here. Negative 3x times x and negative 3x times 3. So that would be negative 3x and then negative 3x times 3 is negative 9. Uh, no, negative 3x squared and then minus 9x. Then we'll use brown here. And 2 times x and 2 times 3. So that's plus 2x and plus 6. And then we'll combine like terms to get our result. So p of x is equal to x cubed, nothing to combine, 3x squared minus 3x, they cancel out, and then negative 9x plus 2x is negative 7x, and then plus 6. And there's our result. All right, so let me know if you have any concerns about this. Um, the idea of going from your zero to a factor of your polynomial, that's the idea here. And now the next example I'll do in, in a separate video, I'll do part B. And this will uh, involve imaginary numbers and multiplying those. So you should know this, uh, you should understand how to multiply polynomials um, or um, uh, complex numbers. Um, but uh, since uh, something we covered earlier in the term, but we'll review that.